Hello Sigmas. Today at hand we have a triangular lamina whose center of mass we have to find. Now this triangular lamina is not just any triangular lamina but it is a right angle triangle as you can easily see from the picture. Now this triangle uh, has a base of uh, B and uh, it has a height of uh, that we are calling H. Now this is the x-axis and this is the y-axis. So how do we solve this problem? So to solve this problem, we begin by dividing this body, the triangular lamina that we have into sections, right? Or small elemental masses whose um, center of mass we already know. In this example of triangular lamina, we are going to divide this triangular lamina into rectangles or rods of this type. Now the length of this uh, raw, uh, rod that I'm drawing is uh, highly exaggerated. That is, I've just sliced the triangular lamina right, into this very thin rod or bar of, uh, I'm saying it has a length of y and is located at a distance x from the origin. This is the origin O of our coordinate system. And it has a length dx, right? Why am I calling dx? Whenever I, this is used in differentiation or uh, integration, right? So this actually represents a very, very small quantity, infinitesimally small quantity. And this rod is such a quantity. It is a very, very thin uh, slice of that triangular lamina. So its length is dx and its mass I'm considering dm. So what we are going to do next uh, is find the center of mass of this rod and which is not at all difficult to find. You know that the center of mass of a rod or a bar of this type lies at its center, right? That is at a distance of y by 2. So this is, let's say, the position vector of the center of mass, which I shall call small r. And the small r would actually obviously be equal to it is a vector, so it will be equal to x i cap plus uh, what would be y. See, if I have a angle theta, let's say this uh, triangle subtends an angle theta over here, then tan of theta is going to be h upon b. We all know that. But tan of theta would also be equal to y upon x, which implies that y is equal to x h upon b and here we have a relationship between y and x and that is exactly what we want because we want to work in a single variable because we are going to integrate in a single variable right so this is going to be x i cap plus uh, x h upon 2b why 2b because the center of mass is going to lie at y by 2, right, at the center of the rod. So it is going to be xh upon 2b j cap. Now, in my previous video, we spoke about what the center of mass uh, of uh, a continuous, this is a continuous body, you can easily see that. So what, the, how do we calculate the center of mass of a continuous body? I have told you in my previous video. So if you have not watched that, go watch it now and then come back and watch this one because if you have not watched my video on center of mass, you will not understand how we are going to calculate the center of mass of this triangular lamina. So the center of mass of this triangular lamina would be in general equal to this, right? This is the formula to calculate the center of mass of any continuous body. Now we already have r over here. So this r is nothing but the position vector of the center of mass of dm. Right here, dm is nothing but the strip, right? The small elemental uh, strip that we have considered, and its center of mass is 
r and this is what is going to help us to calculate the center of mass of that uh, triangular laminar so we are going to get 1 by m integral xi cap plus xh upon 2v j cap dm now here the variable is x but over here the variable is m so we will have to find a relationship between the variable m and x if we want to carry out this integration right we cannot simply integrate it in this manner so how do we calculate the relationship between uh, m and x now if i say that the density of this triangular lamina is rho right i'm saying the density of that triangular lamina is rho then we will get uh, dm as obviously equal to rho times its area times its thickness now this uh, triangular lamina obviously has some thickness also it has a volume so it has some thickness which i'm calling t right so rho a rho a into t is the volume of that triangular lamina and uh, rho is uh, going to be uh, the volume so this is going to give me not dm but the total mass of the triangular lamina right the density of the triangular lamina times its volume will give the total mass of the triangular lamina where a is obviously equal to bh by 2 right that is the formula for the area of a triangle so we get rho b h t divided by t that would be the total mass of the triangular lamina now how do we calculate dm we calculate dm in a similar manner we have rho the density of the elemental mass that is we are trying to calculate the the mass of this rod right so what is the density of that rod rho because it is a part of the triangular lamina and what is the area area is obviously going to be equal to y because it is a kind of a rectangle right it is a rectangle you can easily see that a small portion of the triangle like this of this type is a bar and a bar is a rectangle of length uh, y and width dx right this it has a length of y and it has a width dx so its uh, area is going to be y dx into t and y we have uh, already calculated y is equal to xh upon b so that again we are going to substitute here so that we get uh, rho times xh upon b uh, t dx so these two quantities we are going to uh, substitute over here so this is the position vector of the uh, center of mass of that triangular lamina so this is let me call this one let me call this two and let me call this expression as three so we are going to put uh, two and three in a one so that we get uh, what we are going to get r is equal to um, one by m one by m would be two upon rho h b t we are going to get an integral x i cap plus uh, x h upon two b j cap right so times dm dm is this so we have, we will get rho x h t upon b dx. Now you can easily see that uh, these cancel, the rows will cancel, and h cancels, the t will cancel. So I will get two upon b square uh, integral of x square i cap plus x h upon two b x square again j cap dx so this would be now x uh, in the triangle x goes from the origin to b right to the this part of the triangular lamina so the the triangular lamina spans a length of b in the x axis so we are going to get this integral is going to go from 0 to b so what do we get we get 2 upon b square here there is x squared so we'll get b cube upon 3 
i cap plus x squared would become again b cube h upon 2b upon 6b b cube h upon 6b yes uh, j cap dx now i'm going to multiply this b inside so that this gets cancelled with this and where this will get cancelled with this right you can easily see how the cancellation works so you get 2 by 3 b i cap plus uh, this 2 yeah so, and you are going to get 1 by 3 this 2 is going to cancel with this to be 3 so you get 1 by 3 h j cap this is going to be our position vector of the triangular lamina that we are going to find so this is our final answer that we were hunting in this video and i hope you enjoyed this video i will see you in the next one with more such interesting physics videos thanks for watching